From the very beginning, car designers have always enjoyed coming up with new colors, features, and profiles. And just as car designs have evolved over the years, so has the work of car designers. These days, it's digitization that's making a splash. Design plays a key role in the high-tech displays featured in cars nowadays. Behind the display is an onboard computing system, and each function needs a specialized user interface. A look back to the 1950s shows how much has changed. For example, on this dashboard of a Seat 600E. Here, yeah. as you can see, the design is very, very simple. It's, it's done in metal, and we just, when we design it, we just put the elements in some places, wherever it's simple, it's clean. Because the, the elements are so simple, are so small, and uh, we have enough space to, to put it. And even in the radio, when we sold this car, the radio was an extra. Some, sometimes we sold the, the car without radio, and then the, if the customer wanted, uh, he um, bought the, the radio uh, as an aftermarket solution. In the 1980s, metal dashboards were replaced by ones made out of automotive plastics. In the Seat Ibiza, the radio was no longer an add-on, but integrated into the panel design. It also sported a cassette player, which meant that drivers could cruise to their own tunes. Today's cars are even more souped up. Onboard Wi-Fi and smartphone connectivity are now taken for granted by tech-savvy consumers. The standard analog dashboard instruments are giving way to digital displays. Color designs are keeping pace. Here in the laboratory, designers are cooking up the color schemes that will hit the market in about two years. New pigments get mixed by hand or with the help of a computer. Then the samples are tested in automotive lacquers. The design division also experiments with samples to come up with their new color palette. Many car manufacturers use color to lend their brands and models a unique appearance. And for many customers, picking just the right color combination is part of the purchasing decision. On the modern assembly line, machines do the dirty work. Robots apply paint to interior and exterior panels. They can switch to a new color scheme for the next car without even stopping the conveyor belt. Seyad's Estebeliz Azamende says the factory's mixing facility has 26 different colors that get pumped up to the robot's nozzles. When the color is changed, the robot gets a quick wash with water, soap, and pressurized air. Then the nozzles are clean and ready to go. Three assembly lines can paint up to 3,000 vehicles a day. But quality control is still in human hands. Two-tone paints require an especially careful touch. To create them, the car body is covered with foil while the roof panel is painted in a contrasting color. Here, the workers check to ensure that the lacquer is perfect and that no glue's been left behind. But high-tech does come into play during quality control. This gadget, for example, confirms that the color hue and application remain constant from one car to the next. It's an unstoppable trend. For automotive designers, high-tech gadgets, materials, and colors are the wave of the future.